I, I just, you can use uh, all the characters, and to be honest, it's recommended to use all the characters, just in case your party gets rocked and you need to swap people out. Uh, I just, it requires a bit more grinding to keep that up. If you could just keep a standard party of three, it requires basically zero grinding to get through. Which is optimal, of course, you know. I will show the other characters, I just probably won't use them terribly much. For now, this will be my party. Um, I'll leave Balthier out, even though Balthier knows Cure and has the Gambit set up for that. Speaking of Gambits, let's check Bosch's. Uh, party leader's nearest visible. He doesn't have Cure yet, I don't think, so... Save that. We need to follow this cliff face south, I believe is what he said. So let's go this way. Shall we? You're not what I'm looking for. Oh, there he is. That was easy. He's right freaking there. Holy crap, he's huge. Okay, well, that's certainly a mutant wolf there, isn't it? He does have a white name, though. So he can't be that difficult. Keep in mind, hunts are more difficult than uh, standard enemies of the same level. So, I can't even see his hit bar. He will have more hit points, he'll do more damage, etc, etc. Um, you're supposed to do that hunt, by the way, immediately after doing the tomato hunt. So that was obviously really easy. Now I can go back to town. <laughs> that was way too much dramatic excitement over Thex Terra there for how easy that was. There's also uh, rare enemies. I don't remember the sp what the game specifically calls them. But there's enemies that will only spawn given certain conditions. For instance, in the Ester Sand, I'll show you, show you where it happens. Actually, I don't think I have it unlocked where it happens. Um, the transition between this area and this area, I think. Or, no, no, it's this one and this one. So the Yar Yardang Labyrinth and the Sand Swept Naze between those two. If you go through with basically no hit points, um, a special ghost enemy will spawn. It's apparently a really good way to grind. You can get like 30 levels in like an hour or something ridiculous like that. Um, I don't remember that there's a specific technique to, to kill him and just kind of raffle through that, but he will spawn if you have basically no hit points. You have to walk through a couple times, he'll spawn. He's like level 37 or something silly like that. We need to go to none of these. Hmm. Curses. I wish there was a teleport thing next to the bar, because that's where we need to go to talk to the guy, but we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. By touching these really large gates and causing them to open. Which makes perfect sense, trust me. Sadly, there's no way to run faster than this, by the way. This is There's no, like, sprint button you can hold or something silly like that. There's no stamina meter. This isn't Call of Duty. Also, the poor background images, like that one that you just saw there, those are caused by the emulator. Uh, that one's actually not terribly bad, but the emulator messes with the background images a little bit and makes them look worse than they should, they should look. I think that has something to do with my... Uh, upping the resolution, so sorry about that. Otherwise it looks like crap if I don't up the resolution, so. It seriously looks like crap. I should show what the default resolution looks like in the emulator. The native resolution, if you will. For all I know, it could be 80 pixels by 40 pixels. It looks about the same to me. It looks pretty bad, trust me. Woo, frame rate. You brought down Dexterra. I know, it was so hard. If you stood up and walked over there, you could uh, kill him yourself. So we get our reward for it. Yay. We got a headguard and another teleport stone. Headguard is light armor, I believe. Light headwear, obviously. Um, if you happen to be near the bazaar, say hello. Sure, whatever. He leaves to go to the bazaar, is why he said that. Is there anything new? There is! Flowering Cactoid and a Wraith. Um, the, uh, what? Damask Ester Sand. He's in the Damask Ester Sand? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hmm. A spiteful beast. That certainly looks like a spiteful beast to me. Hunter's two arms. Sure. You can take as many of these as you want at the same time, I'm pretty sure, by the way. Uh... Oh, he's in... okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I probably won't be doing these next two quite yet, by the way, because I do want to actually continue the storyline. He's actually in Rabinaster. Rabinaster, I don't know how to, I, I'm pretty sure it's Rabinaster, and it's got like the old English style RE switch on the end there. He's locked himself in an abandoned house. Sure. Whatever. So they are in Lowtown. They're basically marked, so I can remember that, where that one is. But let's go down to the... Now that I've picked those up, may as well go ahead and go over to the Aerodrome. And oddly enough, the quickest way to get to the Aerodrome is to just cut straight across here and use the teleporter. Which makes very little sense, but it is the quickest way. It's only, what, two loading screens instead of like three or so? I'm all about the loading screens. That's how I calculate my distances. I don't calculate it by number of steps, I calculate it by number of loading screens. Don't ask why, that's just what I do. Plus we haven't even been over here yet, so here's all these people chillaxing over here. The one thing I did like about uh, Final Fantasy XII is in regards to cities. They actually made it look like the city actually, there's people living in it. I mean, it's not like the streets are empty, there's people just relaxing on poles and stuff sitting around. Um, it looks like, it looks more lively. I mean, you come in here to the market and there's all these people just standing around. It looks like a lively little town. I like it. It's a nice touch. Oh, uh, we need to go to the aerodrome. Yay, aerodrome. By the way, for this, this is one of the few Final Fantasies, I don't remember how many there are, but one of the few Final Fantasies where you get to see and technically use an airship very early into the game. We don't have control over where the airship goes, but we get to use it. Flights to Nalbina. Uh, you can, as you see here, you can buy tickets to go to different places. I don't want to go to Nalbina, that's not what I'm here for. But uh, as you progress through storyline, more of these little counters will be used up by people, and you can progress to different areas for when you don't have an airship and you can actually free roam around, basically. Um, we need to have Bosch. What's up, Bosch? Also, they even made the, the aerodrome look like an actual, like, big ol' airport, and the military's taken over that half of it and stuff like that. And you can look out into the, the docks and whatnot. Yay, docks. Anyway, we need to talk to Bosch here. Having some camera controls issues. Camera control issues. I am ready, good sir. Also, yes, you will not be able to come back to Rabinaster for quite a while. Just so you know. So if there's anything here you need to do, like if you wanted to do those hunts right now, for instance, you would need to go do those before you left. The one thing I do wish is they if they had more, uh, excuse me, voice acting, but it is one CD freaking PS2 game, so you gotta this cut them so slightly. Also, that says airship. Quite fancy, isn't it? Cheap airship enough for you? <laughs> I would say it was airship enough for Vaughn. A straw. You really are a sky pirate. Well, the headhunters seem to think so. What's a good word? Is she ready? Also, he has moogles for crew. How amazing is that for an airship? You can't you can't go wrong. Actually that's the uh How fast is she? Could you take the free? That's not the crew for the airship, I was just joking. That's a uh, that's like the repair team and the maintenance team for the the aerodrome. Yeah. He does not actually work with the Moogles, sadly. That'd be hilarious though. Airship piloted by Moogles. The shortest way, so the door stone is. How flies, Bushaba? Oh, she's free as can be for now. Oh yeah. Took notice when they announced the princess's unfortunate. Let's awkwardly stare over people's shoulders, shall we? If it becomes known that I'm alive, the Marquis will lose their favor. I will try to steer clear of such things. Right, it's time to fly. Like how he just has to flip every no switch. <laughs> also, time for some airship fly time. It's kind of loud, I know. 
relatively. Woo, airship. Marquise is actually the, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, is actually the English pronunciation of that. So they did choose the proper pronunciation for the language style they were going for, but Marquis is usually the, usually how people pronounce it. But Marquis is actually, oddly enough, I don't know why, but that's oddly enough the actual pronunciation. Yes. Jeez. I have my brother. She eats well. See that she does. We need her alive. Balthier's bait must be fresh. I keep trying to tell you. I barely even know who Balthier is. It's an interesting the position there, Pinello. The Strahl, she sets sail. She makes straight for the sky city of the Gerba. Barely know, was it? Yet a trace, he goes bounding off for you. Fill me, how could that be? I that's what I'd like to know. I just met him that one time and that's Does it. Does that never stop? No. Nope. What if we plucked it from your head? As for you, we need Balthier alive. His corpse fetches but half the bounty. A tender beaten, my specialty. That was no creepy sound. If we can't tease out a scream or two. <laughs> tender beating. <laughs> Not something you want to hear. Poor Penelope. Where are you? Penelope, that's not the right word. Anyway, Marquis is how the majority of people end up pronouncing it anyway, but whatever. That's how I'll probably end up pronouncing it, because that's how I usually do. <laughs> it just looks that way. Also, this is the intro movie, or used, that was loud, used in the intro movie, if I don't remember if that was ever recorded at some point, but... This is Bujerba. Yes, Bujerba is floating. Welcome to Final Fantasy. Why does this surprise you? It's a nice looking place. It's a little stuttery there for whatever reason, but you know. Nothing has to make sense, it's Final Fantasy. Don't argue with the game. Easy. No good, he's not here. Keep searching. This way. Who are they looking for? You're a dead man. Don't forget it. And no names. Of course. His name is Bob. How are you doing, Bob? So here is Bujerba's airport. Also, part of it is blocked off still. They don't let you wander around at airports. Bujerba's got a pretty hefty airport, though. Um, I think when you have control over the airship, you should be able to see it outside the window. Or can you do that already? Um, no, nah, that's someone else's airship. When you have control over it, I'm pretty sure you can see it out of the, uh, the windows on the docks there. I'm going to go ahead and save, though. And whenever you're not allowed to leave an area, it'll say a strong mist prevents... Uh, passage or something like that. I'll select the save point again in a second. So I can show you. Yeah, strong mist, strong mist prevents teleportation. So you cannot teleport out of this area. And there's a city Parijana. Sure. Whatever game. We'll just roll with your pronunciation of that, I suppose. I'm going to refresh chat real quick. Actually, you know what? Let me... Because this is really all I need to do. Let's do that. There we go. I have to do that periodically, or the chat breaks itself. The new Lucy chat is go. Just up ahead. <laughs> Though I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines. Yes, I am. Who are you, young boy? Then please allow me to accompany you. Uh, who I have are an you? errand to attend to there. Why do you have ruby what earrings? What errand? I might ask the same of you. Right. Come on then. <laughs> what? Excellent. Like how instead of just favor and stay saying no, he says, okay. Should be less trouble that way. 
for us. You can come along. So what's your name? Oh, I uh I'm I'm Lamont. That's don't suspicious. Worry. I don't know what's in that mind, Lamont, but you're in good hands. Vaughn's kind of retarded. Bosh. Yep, there he goes. Good job, Vaughn. And he doesn't even know. So Lamont's a de- uh, uh, I swear. I read desk in chat and I just said Lamont is a desk. That is not what I meant to call him, but whatever. Uh, he is a guest. Uh, and the thing is, with him, similar to uh, Amalia, is he has uh, potions that he will throw willy-nilly. I'm gonna go ahead and change my uh, gambits for her. Drop that off. Except instead of regular potions, he actually uses high potions. He has an unlimited supply of high potions that he throws willy-nilly. Which makes it extremely good period to grind when he's with your party because it, you really have basically no chance of dying. Um, but yes, Vaughn is retarded. All of the pathways are blocked off. If it's red on the minimap, you can't use it. So they kind of just funnel you towards the mine here so you don't get lost in this freaking city. Look, it's Bosch! That guy who's supposed to be in Nalbanana Dungeon. Nalbanana Dungeon. Let's go be friends and talk about stuff, right? Right? No? Maybe? Maybe not? Thaw. Okay. Also, I know exactly where I'm going, if you haven't figured that out yet. I've been through this town many a time. I know my way around here just a little bit. There's also a little mini game that we'll have to do in this town a bit later. But the dungeons here are a very good place to uh, to grind, and I might... Uh, I don't know if I'll do that right now or not. This is the mines, by the way. We're at the mines already. Uh, is a nice place. I wish I could show you more of the like the skyline and stuff, but it's, an, it's got a nice background, nice scenery and stuff. But uh, here's an item shop here if you need items before going in. I do not. Here is Cartographer's Guild. They sell mines, or not mines, they sell maps, and I would like to buy one. May as well get both of them. May as well. Uh, the mines are a very large place. We will be going there multiple times. I'm not sure how many times, but um, there's certain areas that are right now blocked off because they're meant for later points in the game. Let me see if I can show the mine to you. Nope, because I haven't been there yet. Um, I don't need to save because I just did. And eh, we'll we'll go ahead and go in. Once you once you complete. Uh, the second map did not get cheaper after I bought the first one. Sadly, it doesn't work on a discount system. The Lusu Mines. I had to scratch my ears, sorry. Um, Under Imperial at least I don't think out. it got cheaper. Maybe it did. You Actually, guys are no. better at noticing With things than me. So. The Imperial Army is not permitted within Brugerba. Well, shall we proceed? As I was saying, um, once you get the storyline going in this uh, in this mine area. Once you get it going, you cannot come back for quite a while. You get pushed out of the area. Kind of like Rabbit Nest. Excuse me. Kind of like every other Final Fantasy game likes to do. But there's, uh, there's several areas here. Bridges are the ones I'm specific. Good God, I keep hiccuping. Excuse me. Lordy. I have to get a drink here. Uh, the the bridges are what I'm specifically talking about, and a bunch of skeletons spawn on it, and you can just uh, run back and forth and cause them to respawn and just keep going back and back and back. And just you can max out your uh, combo chain at 99 and get some really good drops and stuff. Usually, what I do. Ooh. I have no that was a burn right there. Bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Brugerba as well. You don't mess with judges. They will literally just beat you down emotionally and physically. They don't mess around. Talim Ondor IV, the Marquis of Brugerba, 
the Marquis, Marquis, Marquis. Mediated the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. Let's they all pose. He's been helping the resistance. Let's all not pose. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were? What again? difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Wolf. Penelo is your girlfriend. She's a friend. She was kidnapped and taken here. Girlfriend. Anyway, we'll learn we'll learn more about him a bit later here. Welcome to the Lusu Mines. This is the first area in the game where traps are actually employed. So keep that in mind. There are traps here. And by traps I mean there will be uh if you have what is it? If you have Libra, I believe, you'll be able to see them and there'll be little red uh circles on the ground with little light shooting out of them. We do not have Libra because I've not learned it yet, like a dirt. Usually what happens is I'll grind up to because I like being over leveled in this game, I'll grind up to like level fifteen or something on the skeleton trick I was talking about. Um I don't know if I'll do that this time. I may, I may not. I don't know. It doesn't take terribly long, like maybe 30 minutes or so. Um, am I going to kill Gilgamesh now? No. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be happening. I just got here. There, there's no way that's going to be happening. Gil Gilgamesh is a... Why are you not hitting him, Vaughn? Is a, another thing we'll be coming back through here for. Lots of things we'll be coming back through here for, but that is one of them. And I believe he, he drops some uh, uh, ninja gear, guy gear, whatever gear, I can't even remember what it's called now. I believe he drops something like that, and these bats are obnoxious. They're the same as the bats in the everywhere else in the game. They have the same attacks, basically. They just have more hit points and stuff. Stuff points. And there's eight million of them. There's also a few skeletons at the beginning here, uh, but for the most part there's not really a lot of them. And like I mentioned, you don't have to worry about healing because what's his face right there will do it for us. Hello, bat. Kill it. Someone kill it, please. Okay. The only reason I really keep uh, ranged characters with me, by the way, is so I can avoid... Uh, AoE attacks on bosses. So, for instance, Fran would be Fran, Fran, Frun. I'm just gonna pronounce her name 800 different ways at this point. And that's why I like Lamont, because 400 hit points healed. Um, don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. The other way is uh, nothing, as you see there. There's a chest over there with, I think, high potions in it or something like that. I can't remember. There's the chest right there. There's actually two chests. There might be more chests. We, we might grab it on the way back, I don't know. But there you go. This game, to be honest, this game should have gotten more praise, but you can't really change it at this point. It's so old. Oh, there's one of those traps that I talked about. And that was horrendously loud. That, like, blew my eardrums out. And it killed Lamont entirely. We need to get, um... Oh, it's gonna kill... High potioner? Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Kill the stealing, please. That's why you gotta be careful with traps. Traps can seriously screw you up. Would you stop trying to kill Lamont, please? Kill the other bat. And those are the skeletons I'm talking about, by the way. Uh, on the second bridge in this area, I think. That bridge right there, they spawn a bunch of skeletons. Um, and this is the direction we would be going later. I believe we go down this way and we unlock something else down there. I don't remember exactly, but this is the map as we can see it now. There's not a whole lot to it yet, but it gets pretty complicated map layout later. I'm just going to stutter that out until I figure it out. Hopefully I have enough uh, license points to get Von Libra here shortly. I could just go ahead and put... I may as well just go put this on right now. We can get the actual lever later. Uh, that is the lever icon, by the way. So now we should be able to see traps, and we can see uh, enemy hit points and stuff like that. And level, we can't showcase it because he's too far away. There you go. Level 8 st stealing. He is weak to ground, which makes no sense because he's flying, but whatever. Who am I to... Uh 
complain about that. There's a skeleton. Skeletons, all of them are weak to holy throughout the entire game. You won't have a holy based weapon or attack for a long time now. I think actually you can only get holy based weapons. Is there a holy attack? I don't remember. There probably is, I just don't remember it. Thank you for casting Joyous Soundwave and then immediately dying. Uh, one thing with traps is they will only trigger if you're on the ground, and there is a spell called Float, which causes you to float, which means you're not on the ground. Um, which means you won't ever trigger traps. So usually I'll have someone... There's traps right there. Red things in the back, traps. Usually I'll have someone set up to... Uh, I went this way to show you the traps, by the way. To auto-cast Float constantly. There's a bunch of bats in that hallway, and those traps will screw you up. So it's best to go this way, and kill this bat, because 8 million freaking bats. And yes, I do know the leveling trick. I will not be using that, uh, thing, whatever, whatever it is. I don't remember the name of the temple, but there's a uh, rare enemy there that will, uh, continuously spawn other enemies that you can just continuously grind. What, what you could do uh, on the PS2 is you could just set up gambits for it and then leave it running, like, overnight or something. I won't be doing that. Of course, I'm running an emulator, so I could just fast forward it for like two hours, but you know. Nah. It's no fun. And you literally don't have to do anything. You can just set gambits up and uh, let it play itself, basically. If you set them properly, it's impossible to die, basically, and you will never hit. Uh, this is the bridge I'm talking about with all the skeletons. You will never hit the boss itself because you'll have it set up to hit enemies below a certain amount of HP. And the boss has more HP than that, so you will never hit the boss. You'll just kill the minions he keeps spawning. So here's the bridge I was talking about. It spawns like 12 or something skeletons each run, each run through. So you can just boost up your level and get some... Uh, level multiplier and whatnot as you go through here, or a kill chain, whatever you want to call it. I don't even remember what I'm talking about. Oi. Confusion at its finest. My viewer count just going all over the place. Went from like 3 to 72 to 8, and then it went back up to like 18. I don't even know what's going on with it. I don't even know. Something just did 150 damage to me. Oh. These skeletons, uh, that guy in the back there, these defenders, they have something called Bone Toss. It does a ton of damage, but they don't do it terribly often. Um, it's basic, basically if they do it, you're going to take damage. There's not really a way to keep them from doing it other than massacring them. Uh, and again, they cast Protect and crap like that on themselves. Luckily, we actually silenced him, and this is a thing you have to keep an eye on. They really want to kill Lamont. Is, uh, if you hit silenced, like, as you cast a spell, it still won't cast the spell. Even if it's doing the animation, it will cancel the spell. Um, which is lovely when you're fighting enemies, but terrible when it happens to you. Especially when it's like Kiraga and it's going to save your party and you get silenced or something. What level are we? Level 10. Like I mentioned, lots and lots of skeletons. Hit him? Sorry. I keep forgetting I have to move him myself, since I don't have freaking gambits or anything set up, he won't move on his own. And I need to... Don't I have a better dagger for Vaughn, actually? Since I, for whatever reason, decided to use daggers. Um... No, I thought I had a better dagger. I guess I don't, though. Whatever. Continuing on, I'm still not decided who I will train and what weapon type, but we'll figure that out later. I know Vaughn's going to be using the ninja swords. Um, I think I'll have I'll have Fron keep her ranged bow weapon thing there because that's actually pretty useful to have someone ranged. I might have Bosch do. I think I'll have Bosch do great swords or something like that since he's going to be raw damage slash tank kind of styled, I guess. And Lamont is slowed. Which is bad, because he's our only healer right now. 
I don't remember how long slow lasts, but every all of the status effects do wear off, I'm pretty sure. So slow, haste, stop, all that crap will wear off eventually. He also has potions, if you haven't noticed that. He normally uses high potions, but he will use potions on himself, and now you understand what I mean about holy crap skeletons on this bridge. There's a lot of them. I probably won't grind here. Uh, at least not yet. Maybe I, uh, eh, I'll continue being unsure about that. I'm not very good at making decisions. Trust me. Okay. Can we... Please continue on? We can. What level are we? Ten. I don't remember the requirement to make them respawn. I think it's you have to go uh, 